Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Salad Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza, and we're coming at you right here from Kanda Beach Life on the popular Boat Avenue in Cheung Tale. Now this is the place for world-class beachwear and swimsuits with quality Italian fabric. This is their first showroom as they've already have one ready to open up in Patong very soon. Now we're here because they're having a great sale on bikinis. It's their extreme bikini sale with buy two get one free bikinis and deep discounts from 20 to 50% off. Now let's catch you up with all the news. Police believe the sale of souvenirs to Chinese tourists at Minimar in Pangna Road in Phuket Town could be a possible motive behind the murder of a Northern Hill Tribe woman who was shot dead at the store in the early hours of Friday morning. An investigation is still ongoing, but police say they believe teenagers pulled the trigger in an attempt to intimidate her, but it all went awry. The 23-year-old woman was killed while she was sitting drinking with her husband and friends. And it's second degree murder charges for the seven young people who beat a disabled bread delivery man to death on May 1st in Bangkok's La Prao district. In addition to the gruesome murder, the case has gotten a lot of media attention since four out of the seven suspects are the sons of police officers in the area. The family of the victim had demanded the gang be charged with premeditated murder, which comes with the death penalty. But a panel of public prosecutors say the brutal beating and stabbing of 36-year-old Som Kiai Sishan were not considered in advance and happened at the spur of the moment. And Thai broadcasting regulators are handing down the first ever fine against the nation's biggest media conglomerate for depicting rape and violence against a female character. An episode of the Thai soap opera known as Club Friday showed a man raping a major female character on the show and then later searing her face on a motorbike exhaust pipe. GMM Grammy, the company behind the series, was fined 50,000 baht for the episode that originally aired back on May 3rd and aired again just a week ago. Thai regulators say the scene was deemed obscene, was profane, and was harmful to people's mental and physical health. And it just comes weeks after the rape and murder of a teacher in Saraburi province, prompting calls for mandatory death sentences. And sit tight, Phuket Extra, we'll be right back after this. The newest resort on Nyang Beach, Phuket Marriott Resort and Spa, Nyang Beach, is ready to host you brilliantly. Open now. The art of hosting, where modern architecture meets authenticity of Thai hospitality. And welcome back to Phuket Extra. Three teens in Bangkok are now dead following a police chase through the city in which the officers collided with the suspects who were driving motorbikes with no helmets. The three teens were part of a group of 10 motorbike drivers trying to flee from police who were attempting to pull them over for not wearing their helmets and for not having license plates. One police motorbike hit one of the fleeing suspects bikes which was carrying two boys and a girl and they all died at the scene. Two officers meanwhile are recovering at a local hospital and an investigation into the incident is underway. And a Spanish man is telling a Bangkok court that he did not kill and dismember his compatriot earlier this year and now a trial is sure to go ahead. 37-year-old Artur Segarra is facing the death penalty stemming from premeditated murder after being accused of murdering and cutting David Barnat into chunks and then throwing the bits into Bangkok's Chao Praya River in January. Segarra allegedly withdrew large amounts of cash from the victim's account and then fled the country as police picked him up in Cambodia. Though Segarra admits to being in the same condo complex where the victim was last seen, he did plead not guilty and now a court date has been set for July 25. And it was just another day at a Tesco Lotus in Patum Thani until this monitor lizard decided to stay and relax at the front door. In a three minute viral clip on Facebook, the Godzilla wannabe is seen hanging out at the front entrance of the popular supermarket. 
Some young men try to shove the animal out the door using cardboard displays, but the lizard bites back and hits the thing until eventually he is shoved out into the parking lot. It's unclear what happened to the animal after the incident, as many on social media commented that animal rescue volunteers could have taken it back to the woods. And thank you so much to Kanda Beach Life for allowing us to film from their beautiful showroom here on Boat Avenue in Chernkele. Now let's talk about today's news. Do you agree with regulators that deem the soap opera scene was indecent? And what would you do if you saw a giant monitor lizard inside your local store? Let us know in the comments. From all of us here at Phuket Extra, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Kids Mania at Royal Phuket Marina is the island's number one choice for families and children. A modern, fun design built to international standards has an air-conditioned indoor soft play area, two private activity rooms, a large outdoor shaded play area, providing a safe and secure, fun and educational environment. Kids Mania at RPM is for toddlers and children up to the age of eight years old. Prices start at only 250 baht a day, and memberships and day passes are available. Kidsmania RPM.com Who's in?